careful. You live in the house! A lot of roadkill out there. Hey, hi, welcome to LatinHorror.com. I am Moran and I'm here to interview Kate Weiss from Murder in the Woods. Hi, Kate. Buenos dias, good morning. How are you? Como estas? Really good. Hey, now, why don't you take a sip of this? It'll make you feel better. Tell us your background, uh, where you're coming from, what inspired you to get into acting? Sure. Oh, that's a loaded question, but I'll try to keep it concise, all right? Uh, originally, I'm from, uh, believe it or not, North Africa, Algeria. And uh, I was born in Algiers, Algeria. Um, that's in the Mediterranean. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually the only non, technically speaking, the only non-Latino in the cast. Uh, however, uh, after being born in Algeria, I immigrated to the United States in Brooklyn, New York. I've been around the Hispanic community my entire life. I, I've gotten very well accustomed with the, uh, the Mexicano community and uh, some of the best people I've ever met in my life, some, some of the hardest working, most honest, and so on. Uh, and I guess just growing up with Latinos in New York, Los Angeles, and so on, I think I just, I felt very embedded into that community, and I felt like we are very uh, igual, you know what I mean? There's something about the Latin community that I feel very at home with, and uh, it was a pleasure being part of this film. What happens in the cabin stays in the cabin. So I, I've been doing music for a long time, for years and years, and then somehow that segued into acting. Uh, I actually was able to utilize my musical talents in terms of uh, getting cast on Empire, uh, where I was a recurring guest star, uh, utilizing my music and acting. So that was like the best of both worlds. Very uh, privileged for that. Anyhow, years into it, just just hustling, training, uh, training with some uh, some really cool people in Los Angeles, uh, and mind you, I went to school for business. I have a marketing degree. Oh wow, that's great! <laughs> Never looked back ever since I decided that being an actor and a storyteller overall, whether that's in the medium of mm -hmm. film, television, and music, uh, and so on, I, I I think I'm an overall artist, and I'm I'm very uh, honored to say that, and I stand behind it. That's awesome, amazing. Now let's um, talk about horror. Um, just for the horror fans out there, let me know um, what's your favorite horror film and how did you incorporate your love um, for horror or the, your favorite film into this role that you're playing in Murder in the Woods? Scream was great. Yeah. Um, Slasher, my, yes. uh, Jason, Freddy Krueger, a lot of really cool concepts that came out in the 90s, uh, just very classic classic horror cinema. The Halloween uh, series, I think Michael Myers was definitely a very uh, interesting uh, horror movie to watch as an immigrant and as, a, as an American because it was very real. You know, it was just this guy that just wasn't right upstairs. And of course, he's formidable. He's imposing. He's huge. And then when you add a huge butcher knife, you got a horror movie. <laughs> I think anybody would be terrified of that if that dude was coming at you with that mask, you know. I think I, I was able to tap into uh, everything that I've seen, you know, as an immigrant. As, as an American, growing up as a teenager in this country, um, uh, I was able to take everything that I've learned and then even like dark satire or satirical uh, pieces like scary movie and stuff like that, even yeah. though that's, not, that's more so comedy. But I was able to take all these things and then take my own personal sense of humor and kind of develop a character that I felt was at home where I wouldn't judge Jules, but I would rather illuminate Jules uh, in a sense of stepping into his shoes from my own experience and from what I've learned on the story and in the script. And, uh, and that's what came out, you know? So Murder in the Woods was a hell of an experience, pun intended, hell of an experience, and uh, a very fun time, an experience I'll never forget. Thank God you're here. There's a killer on the loose. Because it's a slasher, it usually has like these, um, um, these staple characters, and it seems like your role in the movie is the jock, I guess. But of course, you have your nuances in there. Can you explain uh, what you put into that character from that those classic 80s slashers to revive it? Yeah, I uh, definitely Jules was like the jokester of the crew because at the end of the day, Jules is a, is a fun-loving party animal, stoner, a little bit of a jock. And he's a guy who doesn't really take much serious because at the end of the day, he's going to a cabin with some friends from school. And what do people do in you know, their later teen years as an adolescent? 
you want to have some fun, if you know what I mean. So when when things start to get serious in the circumstances of the story, he doesn't really take it so serious because at the end of the day, I'm here to party. However, what I liked about Jules is that he definitely has a coming of age in the story because yeah, yeah. when the circumstances start to get truly grave and somber, he, without giving much in the story, he steps up to the plate. And then we get to see multiple layers of jewels. Uh, in terms of uh, how I was able to uh, take a bit of influence from older uh, slasher films, I was able to just bring a sense of realism. Uh, I was able to take everything that I knew kind of that fit the formula of being thrilled and afraid and how would somebody feel in any particular predicament based on what I've you know known from watching American uh, horror movies as well as what I would do in real life and and then I was able to kind of to take my own humor and kind of create a well-rounded character that that made sense to me in the whole movie all right um, you're always the one chosen to see what's out there <laughs> Sounds like my real life. <laughs> There's a scene in the in, in the film that you're actually, you know, you're taking initiative and stuff like this, and you're with the character of Chelsea, and you're going upstairs, and it seems like you you have your hands on her shoulder, and you, you're kind of like using her as a shield. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just found it funny. He's a so funny guy, this guy. Yeah. He's a no, he's, yes. He has all these layers. You just don't know what you're going to get with him, you know? No, I think right before that scene, you're also, uh, I think Chelsea goes, you know, you're here to protect us, and... You, you deliver this like great line, which is, I think it's like, uh, I'm here to get laid. Just, <laughs> I, 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 it, you know, I, I was like, it's tension, 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 and boom, I was laughing. That's what I, I need. Laughing. That's, it was that's, great. What I that's what I thought was needed. You know, if we're going to kind of push the envelope and, and push the needle in terms of, uh, you know, with the exception of myself, of course, but as, 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 as a, a cast portraying all Hispanic characters, you know, we're already doing something that's not necessarily widespread in show business in Hollywood, you know? So if we're going to have a slasher movie, I thought you always got to ease the tension. You always got to ease the tension because if we're showing people something new, if we're trying to scare them all throughout this story, the whole time, it's it, it's going to get a little, not stale, but they're going to get a little uh, bored, you know? You want to have dynamics. You want to make it go up and down. I'm sorry. I'm from New York. I talk a lot. Don't worry, <laughs> worry, I'm from Queens. Oh, what's yeah, Queens in Brooklyn over here. How you doing? Oh, I love it. Well, neighbors, I didn't even know. You, yeah. you, sh you should have prefaced this at the, the beginning of the <laughs> oh, 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 I was going to give you a little trivia. You ready? You ready? Uh, trivia? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you ready? Uh, funny enough, that line was not even in the script. Oh, great. That's Awesome. I, I just said it in the moment. I was like, well, we, we know what the character yeah. came to do at the beginning of, you know, we see it in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, when it's like, no, I, you know, you came to protect us. Yeah, that's just something I said because that's something I said before. It felt like the right thing to say. And now, here's the reality now. I just came to have some yeah. fun. Um, how is it working with um, uh, Machete? Oh, he was great. It was great. It's my first time ever uh, working with Danny Trejo and, uh, He's, he's just got such a presence, that guy, you know, he just shows up and it's like whoosh, time stops just for half a second. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, he's very professional. Um, he really uh, made everyone feel at ease, kind of brought a sense of gravitas to the set that kind of uh, naturally made everyone up their game. Just just a couple notches more, you know, so working with him was uh, was a pleasure. So the most important question. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna hit you with the most important question. Ah. What was in those those brownies on uh, the set? <laughs> Did they uh, help you in any way? Did they help your character? That's 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 uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's that's, uh, that's uh, the secret ingredients of an ancient Aztec formula. I cannot reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> but it it'll definitely uh, send you to a whole nother dimension. <laughs> Well, um, Kate, I would love uh, to thank you for coming on to uh, LandHorror.com.